So we're gonna go ahead and start jumping into actually building out the ad and jumping into Ads Manager. What I want you to make sure that you have open is obviously Ads Manager. Um, you're gonna be here at the home screen for Ads Manager, Facebook Ads Manager. Um, once you have your business account set up, uh, make sure you go to billing as well. I'm gonna show you how to get to billing. You just hit, click the little hamburger sign, go to all tools or just click the hamburger sign and actually on the far right hand side is billing. So make sure you have your billing set up properly. Um, I tell people to get billed every um, 14 or 30 days or however long it lets you do it. Um, but 30 day increments usually works out pretty well. But make sure you have your um, ad template pulled up because we're gonna be using that um, quite frequently, just jumping back and forth between ads manager and this template. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing we're gonna do, and I know as you look at the screen, it looks like it's pretty cumbersome. There's a lot that is in here, um, especially if you're looking at my account. But for you, we wanna make sure that um, I'm walking you through this step by step so that you're not worried about missing anything. You can always go back in these videos and watch this later. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to make these videos short to the point so that you can go ahead and start um, building this ad out properly. And then I, if, if I were you, I would actually record this process um, or at least write down the steps. I'll try to provide some steps for you as well. But um, if you write them down as you're going through, it'll help you build ads so much faster. That's how I started off doing things. Um, and now I build ads very, very quickly. So, all right, with that being said, um, you may have an older version of Facebook Ads Manager um, or the newer version. It just depends on where, where you um, got in Facebook Ads. But no matter what, it's going to be the same basic principles. Um, we're all going to start in the same place, and it may look a little different, but the principles are exactly the same. So we're going to go ahead and tap Create here. And as we click here, some of you are going to see this special category. Um, if you have it, go ahead and click it. If you don't, don't worry. We're going to come back to this. I'll address this at the end of this video um, or at the end of building the ad. But go ahead and click on um, I'm creating a campaign for ads special category and your special category needs to be housing. If you do this properly and you select these things, it's going to protect your ad account. If you don't do these things, I don't know what will happen with your ad account. But we know that doing this will actually protect your ad account and um, and allow us to make sure that we continue to build ads the right way. Again, those of you who don't have this, don't worry about it now. We'll get to it a little bit later. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and select um, our um, objective. The objective is essentially what we're trying to accomplish. I'm not gonna go through all of these. They're, they're kind of self-explanatory, the main ones that we use. Um, but we're gonna be selecting lead generation. And with lead generation, in order to um, make sure that we're able to track what's going on with specific ads, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our ad template. And if you recall, I said we're gonna be using this quite frequently. We're gonna copy this um, under name ad, uh, name camp, the name of the campaign ad set. And then we're gonna come back in here and we're actually going to name this. And we're gonna name it the city. Of course, we're doing uh, Leander. And our price point, if you recall, for what we're doing is 260K. Um, and then lead form sheet, so forth and so on, right? And then you're gonna select your budget. Make sure if this is not clicked on, that you click it on. Uh, that's campaign budget optimization. And you're not gonna do $100 a day. Make sure it says daily budget here. And then we're gonna do $10 per day. I suggest $10 per day because through testing, what we found is that people who do $10 per day obviously generate more leads. Those people who do $5 per day, it takes longer for the campaign to actually start um, uh, generating leads. So make sure that you select daily budget and change that to $10 per day right here. Go ahead and hit continue. And as we go back, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna name this right here. I'm gonna name, you have to name your ad set. Uh, you don't wanna leave it as US 18 because then you can't track what's going on with the ad. I'm gonna name mine real estate targeting, which will make sense a little bit later. And then what I like to do is I actually like to put the date in. So. For me, the date is 2-26-2020. Um, and that just lets me know if I'm creating this ad, what day I created on, and what type of targeting. Um, you're gonna have to select the correct Facebook page. Remember, I run several different pages. Yours should be here. Um, it's either gonna be your, your business page, your real estate business page, or uh, the place that you're looking for. You can also type it in. So if I type in Leander, um, the page that we just created should pop up. If you're new to running ads, it's probably going to give you the view terms. Make sure you click on view terms 
and then you agree to terms and conditions because that's what you have to do. Um, with that being said, we're going to start moving into uh, the next phase of this, which is building out the audience and the ad copy. But I want to make sure this part is done. I don't want to overwhelm you with this first video and sitting here for 20 minutes talking about this. So uh, make sure you go through this, build it out. Remember, take actions. Uh, as you take those actions, you learn a lot faster. So we'll see you in the next video talking about um, audience and creating the ad.